the morning. It's, it's half past one in the morning. And um, I'm, uh, I'm at Ben Nevis near Fort William in, in Scotland. Um, I'm actually having a great time. I'm out to whisper because everyone's asleep. I'm in a field, um, a campsite, and there's hundreds of other tents around me, each about two meters, three meters apart. So I'm having to whisper. Um, welcome to this video. This is my bed with my new massive duvet. It's not really a duvet, I think they're called sleeping blankets. And uh, as you can see the water is coming in. The whole, the whole tent is a bit... I'm not, I'm not sure they're supposed to do this, but there's water everywhere in the tent. Uh, things are kind of wet. surviving. Um, I just had to go and get some water. I'm not going to get dehydrated. Um, I'm going to get back into this bed now and see if I can get some sleep. I'll tell you about it in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, slept like an absolute dream. Very comfortable. I'm on an airbed, and the, the downside of the airbeds is the air escapes, and you slowly start sinking into them. Which is not a bad feeling, but um, endless rain last night, endless. And it's still going. But um, it's put, putting a dampen, dampener on things, literally. So we're not quite sure what we're going to do today. Uh, Phil uh, is going to go up Ben Nevis, he said. Uh, if he does that, then I'll probably go for a car drive, and I'll take you with me. But uh, I think whatever happens, the car drive was on the cards. We're camping here tonight as well. So we'll leave the tents up. And I, I think, we should go to the loo and then think about getting a cup of coffee going. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. I really am. And, uh, yeah. So if campsites aren't the best for me, uh, parking the car somewhere and putting the tent up in the wilderness is the best for me. Or when I've lost a bit of weight, maybe uh, while camping on foot. We shall see. Now this was a rather impromptu trip to the Highlands with my friend Phil. I hadn't really intended to film any of it, so the footage is a little bit broken up in places, but hopefully I've salvaged something that makes sense. Just pulled over a little bit, it's still up there on the, the hillside. And we are uh, headed to Sky today. Nice views though. Did you have a little moment there, Phil? Yeah. Hello. Appreciate the Scottish countryside? Yeah, I think I'm good. Glad I came here in October. Right, I'm going to 
gonna have a rummage in my bag and get myself a, a little healthy snack. Daddy, watch, your, daddy, watch his hatty subscriber. That there'll be subtitles supplied. I guarantee nobody can understand what you're saying because that doesn't even sound like English to me. Glad you're watching this, aren't you, subscriber? Oh, Craig's so great. He's got such amazing friends. God damn it! We eventually arrived at a ferry terminal. One thing about the Highlands of Scotland, in order to island hop, you need to get on a ferry. We're here. And we're going to go across the ferry to there, to Skye. Using the ferries in the Highlands requires you to be fairly organised because the ferries only run at very particular times at certain times of the year and sometimes you can be there and there's no ferries running at all and then neither will you be. You'll pretty much have to go the long way round on the road. So while Phil was being mesmerised by the window wipers, I on the other hand was becoming increasingly concerned about how I was going to get this car onto a ferry. Six, six cars to this, eh? That's the car. That's the two red cars you said. It's 18 pounds. It's literally just across the water there. Looks like we're setting off though. I'm spinning it around. Why won't you give me the thumbs back? Moving guys. He's got to jump on. This guy. And we're rocking and a rolling. the jetty there that we're going to be joining on to and then what we'll do is we'll drive a sky over there so we'll drive onto the aisle and then we're going to drive around onto the main road oh, there's a seal that black blob is a seal enjoy it blobby like that. as we just come off the ferry we knew there was nobody behind us so we pretty much had this extremely remote road all to ourselves. So we were generally heading back to the campsite for our final night sleeping in the rain to head home to Yorkshire the next day. It's just past midnight I think. It is torrential. Side. Lots of frogs running around. A bit worried about Phil, who's right next to me. In no more than a, a tenth the size of his body. And tomorrow we're leaving, and I think we're going to have to take the tents down in the rain, which is the worst. Because they go into the car soaking wet. But it's something we might have to do. There's puddles everywhere around my feet. I'm not grumbling. I'm loving it. I actually enjoy myself. Thank you for watching the video. It was a bit of a weird one. I hadn't really intended to film any of that. I love the sound of it then. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to subscribe to see more of my adventures. But for now, from me, thanks for watching. Cheerio.